On September 11th, 2020, I received an email from Scalable Capital, which pretty much said, email address a bestätigen. That means you have to confirm your email address. Now, I had signed up for Scalable Capital at that time, and I was already at Trade Republic, but I really wanted to try this out because there was a lot of buzz around it. So I signed up, and now after one year later, I have closed down my Trade Republic account, and I'm completely on Scalable Capital with a portfolio size of 140,000 euros. This is the reason I wanted to make this video for you so that you can understand what my experience is after one year and one month of being with a specific depot, and if I would also recommend it to you further. Like with everything, there are some good things and there are some bad things, and all of that I'm going to discuss in this one video. So make sure you watch it till the end so that you don't procrastinate any longer thinking if I should start investing today or tomorrow or if it makes sense at all I do not have any information things like that this video is going to clear all of that for you so let me take you to the screen and show you how the interface looks like so when you are having the scalable capital broker you will have this main dashboard where all of the stocks and everything are going to be listed on for you and on the weekends the exchanges are not available and this is the reason you would see if i go to any of these positions you will see the verkaufen which is the sell and the kaufen which is the buy is dimmed out this is how it looks like it's pretty standard then you will also have all of your transactions listed out at the bottom you can see all of that here then you will have your mailbox on the left side you will have the profile option when i moved from germany to romania i was able to put all of the details here and i had to write to the customer support so that they are able to change my text id because changing the text id is not possible because again one person only gets one text id for their life and that's the important thing when you're changing countries you generally have to talk to the customer support also the entire experience of me taking my depot from trade republic to scalable capital was decent it took some time but in the end, it was all without any kind of cost involved whatsoever, which was also nice. Now, what kind of cost can come to you when you're thinking about starting your depot with scalable capital? Because again, you need a depot so that you can start investing in the stock market in Germany. Scalable Capital has three plans. First is the free broker, second is prime broker, and third is prime broker flex. So this is prime broker, but you have the option of paying monthly instead of yearly. Prime Broker and Prime Broker Flex are essentially the subscription models that Scalable Capital has so that you pay a specific amount, but you get some advantages on the other side. So here, if you take a look that you have savings plan, which is called SPA plan. Here, you can start saving in Scalable Capital just with one euro per month. Now, this used to be massively different previously. I remember the times when the savings plan minimum volume was 50 euros, then it was sunk down to 25 euros, and now it is just one euro, which is crazy because this gives so many students, so many people who are maybe not making so much money, also the option to invest in the stock market. And it is not just restricted to the people who are making a lot of money. This was something that I had been tracking down since, like I said, September 11th, 2020, because from that moment onwards, I saw there was one progress after the next. You can start your savings plan, not from 10 euros or something, but just by one euros per month. And you do not have any kind of costs on the savings plan, which is very nice. Alish Paplene Gibbion Fry, which is all savings plan are without any kind of costs for free broker, also for the prime broker. Then we talk about order Gibbion. So order Gibbion are essentially, if you're executing an order, that means if you're buying or selling, what kind of costs are involved? Again, if you have prime ETFs above 250 euros, it's zero everywhere. If you have prime derivatives above 250 euros, it's 99 cents for a free broker, zero euros for prime broker. You have the ETF stocks or other funds. If you're having above 250 euros, you still have to pay 99 cents in free broker because again, you're not having any kind of subscription with scalable capital. You're paying 99 cents there. But if you're having the prime broker subscription, you pay zero euros there. And if you're purchasing from zero to 250 euros, then you're paying 99 cents with free broker and you're paying 99 cents with prime broker. So essentially, if you're buying anything below 250 euros, then you have the extra cost. If you're purchasing anything above 250 euros, you have to pay 99 cents with free broker but zero euros with Prime Broker. I personally find this very interesting because previously when I was with Trade Republic, there was no option at all to execute orders without any kind of cost, but Scalable Capital does give you this option. To summarize the costs a bit, to help you decide if you should go for the Free Broker or the Prime Broker, 
if you're not making a lot of executions, if you're not buying or selling frequently, then I think free broker is just fine. You do not have any kind of subscription model. You don't have to pay to keep your account open. There's no opening costs. There are no running costs whatsoever. Then it's completely for free, just like the free broker said. But if you are buying or purchasing something, then you have to pay 99 cents. If you're just running standard savings plan, that is every single month it is going to be executed. A fixed amount of money will be directly deducted from your current account, will be sent to your depot. Like in those kind of scenarios, you do not have any costs whatsoever. And I think this is more relevant for students, for professionals who are starting out, but for people who are already a bit more advanced, I think for them, Prime Broker makes a lot more sense. Another interesting thing that you will find here is that, for example, the contract you can quit anytime. That means you do not have to like carry it on forever and ever. You also have the option of paying for these subscription models yearly or monthly, which is also very nice. Then you have the option of getting to talk to them via email, via chat and via phone, which is also very nice. Then there are a lot more options that you can see here. The main thing that I really like is that you have the option of using scalable capital on your phone and also on the computer, which is such a lifesaver. I know with Trade Republic, this used to be such a big problem for me. I would do most of my research on computer and then afterwards I had to go to my phone to execute the orders and stuff, which was not so nice. Now, opening the account with Scalable Capital is very simple. All you have to do is go to Depot AFNIN. Then afterwards, they will ask you for your email address. And after you put your email address inside, you will pretty much have to fill out the form. It's very simple. I've already made a video about this previously that you can check out in the link given in description. And it's generally very simple. So after one year and one month of being with Scalable Capital, the things that I like the most is that it has made things very simple for new investors to come into the market and also start investing, even if it is smaller sums. This is something very important for other brokers also to understand that when somebody is starting investing, they're not going to invest thousands of euros all of a sudden. And if you don't make it easy for them to start investing, they will just never invest. And that's why I personally like Scalable Capital much better. Trade Republic was also very interesting there. Now, the thing that differentiates Scalable Capital from all of the other brokers is that you have the power of controlling your costs. So if you're having a lot of, you know, executions and things like that, you can still decide to only pay a flat rate of 35 euros and 88 cents. I think it's something like that. If you're paying two euros, 99 cents per month for a year, because you have to pay it all together. Whereas with other brokers, you don't have the option. You generally have to pay some money every single time you're executing something. And also for people who are not active traders, for them also it is such a nice option. One thing that I still don't like that much is that when you're transferring the money from your current account to the depot account, it can take longer. Sometimes it can take more than one working day, which is not nice. And on Trade Republic, it used to be within a few hours. And that is something that I'm pretty sure that they're still working on because I've seen them taking down savings plan minimum order volume from 50 euros to 25 euros and now to just one euro. So I'm pretty sure that they would be working on this too. Also another characteristic which I really love about scalable capital is even if you move around anywhere in EU, you still have the option to keeping your portfolio with them. So it is not going to be as dramatic with like Trade Republic. With Trade Republic, as soon as you leave Germany, you have to quit your entire portfolio. You don't have access to it and they will be transferring your portfolio somewhere else or they'll be selling your entire portfolio and like giving it out to you, which is something I absolutely hated. So I did not even like, you know, mention it to Trade Republic that I'm like leaving and stuff. I first made the transfer from Trade Republic to Scalable Capital. And now afterwards, if I decide to move to Bulgaria, I move to Denmark, I move to any other country, I can still keep my portfolio with scalable capital without any kind of changes whatsoever. And this is the reason why I believe for the longer run, I think you would be much better placed with scalable capital than with any of the other German brokers. Because as long as you're in Germany, they still offer this free service that they are going to take the tax amount from your profits and directly submit it to the finance sound. And they will also give you a tax report in the end so that you don't have to do anything at all at the end. They will be taking care of all of the paperwork on your behalf. And if you move out, you will still get the tax report so that you can file the taxes according to your local laws. So this was pretty much my one year experience with Scalable Capital. My portfolio is standing at 140,000 euros. And of course, my goal is that I try to like, you know, take it to 200,000 euros till the end of the year. 
we will see if that works out or not. So for more videos, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. And if you know a friend who wants to start investing, share this video with them. That would mean a lot. If you want to open your free depot with scalable capital, you can use my referral link given in the description below. With this, you support this channel without any kind of additional cost to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.